Me and Marcus are prepping for a crappie masters event on Wren Lake. Woo, check out Marcus putting the hammer down. Good fish. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. Well, good morning. It's a beautiful day. We're here on Wren Lake. Me and Marcus are prepping for a crappie masters event on Wren Lake. We are working extremely hard. So what this episode's about really is going to be, it is definitely a putting in the time scenario for him and me. We're getting up early every day, but you gotta put the time in to even have a shot at it. So we're gonna walk you through a lot of what we're doing today. We're gonna hopefully show you some active captain and uh, we're gonna be vertical jigging for these spawning crappie. Now we've had a heat wave come through, so we think that's probably pushing them towards obviously the buck brush and the shallows. So we're anticipating these crappie moving back and forth. We're gonna tell you and show you what we're doing. So we're gonna start shallow today really quick. If we don't have any luck there, we're gonna start pushing out to deeper structure. Thanks for joining, please subscribe, let's do it. This, this was two foot down. Two foot down. That's what that was. Not much to it. He's casting. I'm just throwing it down there real quick. That's right, folks. We're back on Ren Lake for a Crappie Masters event. Folks, we've got two pre fish videos and then the tournament. We're going to walk you through what we do and we're going to put big fish on this great lake. Folks, if you want a great thump, Ren Lake has it. Those fish commit and it's kind of easy to really stick those fish once they're on that bait. So, Stick with me, subscribe. We're gonna walk you through this whole process. Textbook. That was textbook. Now it's not a big fish, but boy, did they hammer this jig. Oh, okay. Well, that's a pretty, that's probably about a, a, not, a 0.9. <laughs> All right, let me show you. This guy looks a little spawned out, which is a, somewhat of a concern. That's a good fish. Maybe it doesn't look huge, but it's a, it's a pounder. But anyway, gumdrop on my website. Check it out. Ridden Lake gumdrop. That's solid. So what we established right now is that we could probably get one and a half. We could get one and a half here, one, one and a quarters to one and a half here. Probably seven fish. Our biggest concern, something that people need to consider when on game day is that what's the wind doing? What's the weather doing? This is a southwest wind, a south southwest wind. That's the wind that we are projected to have on tournament day. So we know that based on the, the how fast that wind's gonna be coming in here, whether or not we'll truly be able to fish it. Now we know that the wind will be low obviously in the morning. So we might be able to come here and within five minutes get the maybe roughly eight and a half, nine pounds, and then go find solitude, you know, quietness somewhere else by you know eight o'clock really. So that's that's something we're probably both saying right in our heads right now is we could come here get really quick fish eight eight plus pounds it's not winning weight but it's guaranteed weight that's going to put you up there now we just have to upgrade all throughout the day so it's intriguing now if the, if the wind starts off at 20 mile an hour right off the bat in the morning then this won't be a play although my partner would probably say yes it is in 20 mile an hour we're gonna still do it <laughs> whatever it takes whatever it takes but even with lithium batteries, I question the ability to stay up all day if we've got it straight in the nose of a wind like that. So, and at Wren Lake, that went, that, those waves will come right over the bow of your boat, right into you. A lot of fun though. So let's talk about what this episode is about. And that is about putting in the time. I think a lot of people think that they can show up the lakes and 
you're supposed to have a certain level of success. Well, I can tell you that it takes time and it's about putting in the time to make that success happen. Me and Marcus have been at this lake now. This is probably the third day that we had been here. And we chose not to film those first days so we can completely focus on the lake. And in fact, at this point, we only have probably about three quarters of the lake filmed. So we have the other arm of the lake that we are gonna go to the second half of this day. And the full next day, we're gonna be at that arm. And I can tell you that plans do change and they kind of modify, but we're always talking about what we're thinking right at that moment. And um, putting in the time is super critical to having success at tournaments. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Check out Marcus putting the hammer down. Good fish. Looks spawned out though. Interesting. What do you think about that? That's good for us. <laughs> we got a shot. That's a good fish. Our dilemma right now, folks, is that we need to find a place out of the wind. We've had a little rain. Where are you at? There you go. All right, so we've had a little rain, so hence the, uh, the rain jacket. But I'm gonna try the Darbone in a, in a larger size. This is a Darbone hair jig that I have. It was very successful at Darbone for the practice sessions. And so I bet you it works here. Very similar muddy water conditions. For people that don't know what you, you're looking for in a muddy water condition, you're looking for bright colors. You're looking for something that stands out. I, I'm a big believer in contrast contrasting the colors big time. They don't have to look really pretty, but as long as there's a big difference in maybe the body, the head, and the tail. And really, I have this more focus actually on the body and the, the head. They like the dark bone, at least the small guys. <laughs> We're just having a lot of fun here. We're catching tons of fish. Put that one in the book. That's his book right now. William! Bait is putting on a clinic. That's the difference between what you have right now <laughs> and this. <laughs> I mean, I had this thing in his face, and it was a decent fish, too. You probably can still find him. And he didn't touch it. He brought it up, he looked at it, he kept looking at it, and he said, Nope. That is part of prepping for a tournament. There's no doubt about it. Learning the baits, what they really are appreciating. It's no guarantee, but. We think this cove will really be out of the wind. So that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Gotta do better. Thing is, is that we're definitely catching fish. We got the right bait. We got the right bait, and that's what's key. Right now, we're just fishing structure. Go ahead. We're just fishing structure out here, roughly in so an 11 foot of water. I'll show you what it looks like. We're fishing structure like this, 11 foot of water. Water temperature 64, and we're looking for a fish right now. You can see this is a smaller fish here. Marcus will drop on this guy just for demonstration purposes. And here comes Marcus right, well, there he is right there. And 
we're looking for some wag out of that guy, but we didn't get it. He missed him just a little bit to the, maybe a little bit to the, I'm gonna, probably because we're coasting actually. See this guy moving in? There's a fish moving in right there. And what Marcus is doing is he's looking at, that guy will take it. Boom, oh. you saw that action? That guy took after it. A lot of fun, a lot of fun. So we're gonna move into a shallower area that has the similar structure. See what we got there. Yeah, I think it's a little bit bigger. All right. So both these hair jigs are just popping it. They're just, they're, they're stopping on a run and they're going right for it, man. So check them out on the website. I'm using braid. He's using fluorocarbon. I've got the 12-footer. He's using a 10-footer. Hey, thanks for joining us today. We appreciate it. Please subscribe. Wish us luck in the tournament. Three pound fishing, baby. Let's go. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies.